This is a quick screencast to give you an idea of what you need to do to run Eclipse on one of the Hanover High School computers for the first time. Uh, what you want to do is go up to the Spotlight search bar and type in Eclipse. Eclipse.app should be one of your choices. And that will launch Eclipse Juno. Uh, by default, uh, when it comes up, it asks you for the location of your workspace. And um, it's set up here to use a folder called Workspace, which is in your home directory. Now, being on your home directory, it means that it won't get backed up to the student file server. That's um, probably OK, because I'm going to suggest that you tend to use the same computer um, in the lab every day. That way, you won't have to repeat this um, setup process. So it does also mean that you're going to have to take care of backing up your own work if you want to. If you would prefer, you can set it up to use a folder in your documents or on your desktop, in which case everything will get backed up. It's uh, entirely your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and use the default, which is um, on my home directory. Eclipse is a rather large program, and uh, it takes a little while to load up. Eclipse is actually written in a language called Java which, um, among other things, makes it easy to port to different operating systems. For, for example, you can get um, Eclipse Juno for Linux and Windows, and it runs and looks pretty much the same on all different platforms. So the first time you run Eclipse on any computer, you're going to be greeted with this welcome screen. You should feel free to close it. Now, if this is the first time that you've used Eclipse on this computer, you're going to have a few things to do. The first of those is going to be to open the Python development um, perspective. Eclipse is designed to do lots of different things for lots of different languages, and we are using it only for Python development. So we have to do a little setup for that. So what you do is you go and um, to the Window uh, menu option and click on Open Perspective. And the choices here are debug, Java browsing, and JavaScript. We don't want any of those, so we choose other. Now you have a huge list of things, one of which is for Python. It's down here. It's called PyDev. So select that and click OK. A brief pause. Now you'll notice the screen has changed a little bit. In the upper right-hand corner here, these are the buttons that control what perspective Eclipse is in. Again, that's the mode that Eclipse is operating in, whether it's for Java development or Python development or debugging. So right now, after selecting PyDev as the perspective, we have PyDev appearing in the upper right-hand corner, and it's highlighted. This main window in the center is used for uh, editing code. The window on the left is usually used to display lists of modules or uh, files that are used in your projects. And the bottom window is used for things like um, execution errors and displaying a console or output for your program. Now, if you just had to do that because you've never run Eclipse on this machine before, you're going to also have to tell Eclipse something about the Python interpreter that you intend to use. So to do that, you want to go up to Eclipse, select Preferences, In this long list on the left, you want to go down to PyDev, click on the little arrow next to it, and down below that is an entry called Interpreter Python. So we'll click on that. So now we have a box here which has the Python interpreters that are configured, and if this is the first time you've used Eclipse, you should see absolutely nothing. So it's easy to do to set up. Just click on this button over here that says Auto Config and wait. And there's a whole list of things that are incomprehensible. That's OK. Click the button that says Select All, then OK. And that's all there is to it. Finally, click OK again in the lower right hand corner, and you should be good to go after, again, a little pause. Let it sit on this for a moment and hope that it comes out all right.
Now, at this point, this video really could end because there isn't anything else that I'm going to do. So if you'd like to move on to another video um, tutorial, such as how to um, open a Python console or how to write your very first Python program, feel free to go ahead and close this and, and move on. I'm going to let this finish just to show you that it does finish eventually, um, but then that will be the end of the video. Um, again, if you want to install Eclipse Juno on your own computer, go to eclipse.org, find the latest Juno release for your operating system, Linux, Mac, or Windows, and download it. You'll also need to install the PyDev plugin, and uh, rather than give you detailed instructions for that, I think you should go find um, a tutorial for doing that on the internet. It's a pretty common thing for people to do. And I think the instructions you can find out there are probably at least as good as anything I can do here. So it did finish setting up um, for the Python interpreter. So uh, the next thing I'm going to show in the other videos is how to uh, get the Python console running and how to create and run your very first Python script. Thank you.